Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lady Tarot T. I am back with another video. Back with another reading. This is for Pisces, someone arising, male and female. Please know that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. But for those that this reading resonates with, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I will be using my Witch's Tarot, the Witch's Tarot deck. And I will be using my Romance Angel for this reading. So let's see what's going on with Pisces and love. <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to cut this deck. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck we have the High Priestess. Pisces, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but, <laughs> okay, so, um, someone could be holding on to some sort, to some information, or it could be that someone is holding on to a secret with this high priestess energy, the overall energy, so, some of you could be dealing with, um, an air sign, or a tourist, Taurus. I said Taurus, like it's really a tourist. <laughs> um, you could be dealing with either one of those signs. It could be that someone is holding on to something, um, some sort of information, maybe a secret. With this high priestess, this is the overall energy of this reading. So let's see what Pisces, what your energy is. Ooh, that popped right on out. We have the Eight of Wands. So, Pisces, some of you could be dealing with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is movement here. Or this could have been some sort of communication coming in for you, Pisces. Um, like I said, the overall energy is someone keeping some sort of information or secret, holding on to possibly a secret this could be this could have been with this eight of wands you receiving some sort of information here um from a distance uh receiving some sort of communication um <laughs> this is the eight of cups so this is your partner's energy here um some of you could have been dealing with another water sign such as yourself but I do feel that maybe someone, you, I, I really feel like Pisces, you received some sort of news that maybe your partner is walking away from you or left a situation, left, emotionally walked away from you. Let's see. We have the Ten of Swords. This is a, this talks about endings, some sort of betrayal here, especially with the High Priestess. And this is in the... um obstacles and challenge position so this is endings um this could have been definitely um a betrayal backstabbing situation let's see how this person feels for you pisces oh hold on i thought something was going to come out let's see how your partner feels about you how does pisces partner feel about pisces Ooh, okay whoa Okay, so we have the Karma card, and then we have the Knight of Wands. But I'm just going to read these. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so. <sighs> yeah, I feel like maybe you guys are going to be taking action and moving away. Um, yeah, because the Eight of Wands also signifies movement. Some of you could be traveling and moving away from the situation um, at a distance here. Um, separating yourself from this person here. Because there's some sort of ending with this Ten of Swords. And it could have been involving someone holding some sort of secret. Um, backstabbing, maybe a third party situation where someone was acting in the player energy with this Knight of Wands energy. Keeping some sort of secret. It may have been exposed as well because the Karma card is also also talks about things being revealed um you know um it also this is like a something that's destined to happen with this karma card um this talks about also reflecting on past events um you know so this is basically my cause and effect my 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 
you know, <clears throat> whatever you do comes back to you, car here type of situation. So I feel like there could have been, you know, some of you could have been dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and they could have betrayed you in the worst way, backstabbing. <clears throat> you know, being a player, this is that in and out energy as well. And I feel someone emotionally walked away from a situation. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. Oh, something. Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. You could have been dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Or this could have been who the person left you for. Or, you know, this could have been a third party situation as well where an earth sign was in the middle of this. <clears throat> All of these action cards popping out for you guys. So let's clarify this eight of... No, first let's clarify this eight of wands for Pisces. Let me move this down so you guys can see it. Okay. Let's clarify this eight of wands. Like I said, this could have been communication coming in from a distance, at a distance for you. Let's clarify, or you guys moving away from the situation. Let's clarify the eight of wands. Why is the eight of wands here for Pisces? Clarify the Eight of Wands. Let's see. Oh, so many cards. And I'm only going to take this one because it's turned over. Going to put these back. But yeah, someone definitely wants justice in this matter. The situation. We have the Five of Cups. So yeah, so it definitely could have been some communication coming in about a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um... You know, that made you, or it could have been another water sign, um, Cancer or Scorpio. But this, you know, this communication or whatever it was that you may have heard or, you know, this communication that may have come to you um, from an outside source, this definitely made you uh, feel um, saddened by this here with this Five of Cups energy. Um feeling sad over the loss here of this situation i'm feeling like maybe you felt you felt you know sad and you know um of this sudden loss because this person emotionally walked away let's clarify this eight of cups and this is for pisces partners energy let's clarify this eight of cups or you could have emotionally walked away from this person because of the secret that they were hiding with this overall energy being the high priestess. And because we have the Knight of Wands here as well. And the um, Ten of Swords. And the Karma card. So this is like, you know, <clears throat> yeah, some sort of <laughs> situation. Okay, yeah, so I feel that someone walked away from this partnership here. We do have the Two of Cups clarifying the Eight of um, cups as well so I really feel like either you Pisces emotionally walked away from your partner you walked away from this partnership this relationship here okay there was some sort of ending where someone felt betrayed and backstabbed in the situation could have been coming from your point of view or your partner's point of view but it's definitely something going on in this relationship let's clarify the ten of swords okay and this is a challenge. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords. Could have been a challenge for you ending this and walking away. Especially if I feel emotions were involved in this situation. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Definitely um, a backstabbing situation. And also the Ten of Swords signifies you needing to move away from toxic people. And people that no longer serve you. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords. What do I say? What the hell? Because I'm sitting right here and I'm like outside. I heard something in my window. I'm about to say, don't be, don't be doing that shit. Because we we gonna have a problem. <laughs> the ghetto needs to come right on out. Um, <laughs> sorry, you guys. Oh my goodness, so many cards popped out for you, and it's just like, uh, okay. So I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna put the rest back in. So. With this Ten of Swords, you know, endings, this, you know, ending this situation, ending this betrayal, um, and walking away. Someone is, you know, walking away from this and looking forward toward the future. Um, you know, that's what I'm getting. Uh, that could be the challenge as well in this matter. Um, 
for some, for a small uh, fracture of you, I feel that with this Ten of Swords, like I said, it was definitely a backstabbing situation where things ended um, horribly between you guys. And for some of you, I feel that you can't get over this. It's like for some of you, you are still waiting around for this person with this three of wands. And then for 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 another group of you, I feel like a lot of you turned your back on, and walked away, even though it was hard. Yes, number one, you know, because of the betrayal or whatever happened in this situation, the emotions were taken out of this situation. Someone didn't have emotional feelings for the other and decided to end things and you know now they're looking forward to their future you know um and they could be setting their sights on someone else as well yeah most definitely especially with this knight of wands energy so Let's clarify this Knight of Wands, even though the Knight of Wands and the Karma card came out for how does the partner feel for you, Pisces. I still want to clarify um, this. Oh, too many cards. Too many cards. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands. And like I said, some of you could have been dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's clarify. Okay, I'll take the... No. I thought it was just two cards. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay, so let's see how... Let's clarify this Knights of Wands. Knight of Wands. They still keep giving me so many cards, and I'm not taking them. Okay, Knight of Wands. <laughs> One more time. One more time. Uh, okay. I'll take these. It's one more that fell. Give me one second. Okay. So we clarified the Knight of Wands, that in and out energy, that player energy here. You know, even though it's very moving shaker. But anyway, we clarified that Knight of Wands with the Four of Wands. So major fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I do feel that the way that they feel for you. With this four of wands, they do feel a connection with you, um, maybe a twin flame type soulmate connection with you. Um, but I feel that with their energy with this knight of wands, I feel like someone is just not willing to commit. Because, you know, what came out <laughs> was the two of pentacles. So it's just like they're trying to juggle more than one thing. It's like they want to be in a relationship, but they also may still want to celebrate and do them and have fun elsewhere with this knight of wands energy, okay? So it's it's almost like... They're indecisive. Do they want to be a player with this Knight of Wands energy? Or do they want to settle down and have a commit, committed relationship? Okay? Something stable. So it's just like, you know, it's like an up and down. It's like a roller coaster when it comes to their feelings for you, Pisces. Okay? Um, if this reading does not resonate with you, then it's not for you. But I'm just saying for the ones that this reading resonates for you, this is this seems like this is what's going on. But let's clarify the Karma card. And in a way, I feel like maybe your partner may feel that their karma is coming for them because they may have been a player as well, you know, especially with this Ten of Swords, this devastation coming to this relationship and ending and emotional, you know, someone walking away emotionally, you know, not fulfilled within this relationship. So I feel like for some of them, they do feel like their karma is coming for them here, okay, because of their player ways with this Knight of Wands energy, you know, them juggling more than one person, more than one relationship, you know, um, and just playing games, that's what I, that's what I'm, that's exactly what I'm feeling. But let's clarify this um, karma card with the hangman. So, yeah, they are definitely, I feel that they are definitely going to be stagnant. Um, you know, they're at a period of pause. Um, because I feel that for some of them, they're, you know, some of them could be reflecting on their past, you know, and all of the things that went wrong and what they, you know, their actions, how they acted 
towards you in this relationship and they definitely may be trying to right their wrongs in a way with this hangman energy because this is also taking a pause reflecting and but not only that it's um looking at things from a different perspective looking at life at a you know from a different angle so to speak and you know also they could be trying to get some things right or get some things in order with themselves because this karma card, you know, this card is definitely, it's here to say, look, whatever you've done or whatever turmoil or whatever you put someone through, this is, this is, this is the, um, this is the, this is the effect of it all. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Like a cause and effect. Okay. Like really. So I definitely feel like they are going through some sort of pause here, trying to reflect, trying to um, look at life in a new perspective. And they could be going through their karma, and that's why they're at a pause, okay? That's why they may be at a standstill with this hangman energy, okay? Um, so let's grab some romance angels. Let's see. Romance Angels, what messages do you have for Pisces? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Angels just told me to get um my guidance from above. So I'm going to give you guys a few guidance cards. Um, Hopefully, they'll have some advice on there or, you know, something, something that you guys could, you know, some sort of advice for you guys possibly, okay? Um, Let's see. Romance Angels, what messages do you have for Pisces? Ooh. Let's see. What messages do you have for Pisces? Oh, thank you. We have getting to know each other. As you reveal your intermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, I feel like at a time there, it was where you guys were getting to know each other. Um... And things seem to work out fine. But like I said, um, someone emotionally walked away from the situation. Chemistry is popping out too. So you guys do have chemistry with each other. There is a strong mag magnetic attraction. Okay, especially with this two of two of cups. But I feel like some things need to get worked out. Because the angels are saying that you deserve love. You are lovable. Um, let's see. Any more messages we have? Any more messages you have, Romance Angels, from my Pisces? Okay. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, um, because there is such a strong magnetic attraction here, and for some of you, I do feel that you may be separated from this person because of what happened in the relationship and how things ended and the betrayal. I do feel strongly that this person will be coming back. Um, asking for your forgiveness, trying to reconcile here. Like I said, they are looking at life in a new, at a new perspective from a new angle. So they could be at a pause here, you know, trying to get things back balanced, trying to get things back on, you know, level basically like they're trying to get things back level because i feel that there was such a strong magnetic attraction between the two of you that and then not only that you guys really revealed a lot of things to each other and a lot of personal things especially with all with these cups in here you know a lot of emotions could have been a lot of private things that you um expressed to this, to this person because you guys have such a strong chemistry with each other but i do feel that this person will be coming back because with this four of wands i feel like this person may have felt that you were you know their soulmate or their twin flame or something of that um aspect where you know they feel connected to you they feel like they could build something stable with you i do feel that they are at a period of rest okay they're trying to get some things in order because this energy that they were um, you know, <laughs> the energy that they were bringing to you was just not right here. You know, it's just not stable. They were sort of like in and out, you know, up and down. So that's what I'm getting, okay? Let me grab some guidance cards for you guys. Give me one second. I'm going to pause this, grab my cards, and then I'm gonna be, I'll be right back. 
Okay, sorry you guys. Oh, my energy just be so popping. For real. Let me grab these cards. Oh, I love these cards. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold up. Okay. Look, at the bottom of the deck, transformation. <laughs> so they could be going through uh, um, some sort of transformation at this point, at this time here. Let's see. What messages? What guidance? Oh, that came right on out. We have zest. A zestful outlook can expand your heart center and instill a positive outlook. See life as an adventure. Approach approach everything with excitement. Okay, so that's one way that you can look at things. Um, you know, you know, just be happy here. Enjoy um, the adventure. Enjoy the process here. You know, um, approach everything with this, with excitement. That's that's what they're saying. Um, let's see. Any more messages? Any more guidance? Um, cards for Pisces. Any more guidance for Pisces? So, have a zestful outlook. <laughs> Zest, okay? <laughs> and we have healing. Hmm, your partner could be, I'm telling you, your partner is going through some sort of pause, transformation, healing as well. But this is also a good card for you guys. But it says, you are a healer, okay? Now is the time to take some course in healing. If you are already healing others, take some time to receive a healing. And that kind of resonates with me as well, okay? But, um... <laughs> So you, so you guys, I feel like your partner is going through a period of healing. Um, you know, they could be, they definitely taking some time out with this pause here. Okay. For themselves, getting themselves together. But for you, I feel like you guys need to have a zestful outlook. Okay. Um, <laughs> look forward to seeing the positive in everything, you know, the positivity and everything. Look forward to excitement. Looking forward to um, adventure, okay, in this process, um, okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to pull one more card. Give me one second. Okay, I'm going to grab one card from the universe has your back. I love this deck. Okay, let's cut this. Hold up. Let's see. Universe. Can I have one card for Pisces? Thank you. Pisces. Yeah, but I feel like your, your partner is definitely going through some sort of healing. And especially, they would, I'm not taking all of these, they would definitely want to go through some sort of healing because if they stepped out or, you know, <laughs> did their thing with someone else, of course. But if their relationship is worth saving, then... You guys go for it, okay? <clears throat> okay. Ooh, hold up. Something almost came out. This your energy just been stubborn. Okay. I choose love no matter what. So you guys are gonna be choosing love no matter what, or your partner is gonna be choosing love no matter what. The universe is telling you to choose love no matter what. Okay. So take that message however it resonates for you. Guys, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.